If you wanna have financial freedom and time freedom in network marketing, recruiting is essential. However, I'm sure you'll agree with me that it can also be very frustrating. In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips that I used to go out and recruit 10 people in just 10 days. Been in this industry for over 25 years, multiple seven-figure earner, and uh, been blessed to have a lot of success in the industry, but it wasn't always like that. Uh, matter of fact, for seven years, I struggled. I uh, got to the point, I said, I'll never do it again. Uh, I was actually a member of the NFL, the No Friends Left Club. I ended up bankrupt, government assistance, car repossessed, living in a small town, felt like a failure in life when I couldn't even support my family but very thankful that I had the right mentors that came into my life that taught me exactly what to do that have led me to hundreds of recruits in this industry, personal recruits. And today I'm gonna to share with you five tips on what I did when I actually went out and recruited 10 people in just 10 days. So let's start with number one. Number one, it's understanding the recruiting is a process, it's not an event. Okay, this is a relationship business. So you're not gonna go out and go, look, I wanna recruit 10 people the next 10 days. You've gotta give it some time because right now we're getting paid on what we did 90 days ago. 90 days from now, we'll be getting paid on what we do now. You have to fill your funnel and understand it does take some time. And if you think about a garden, we don't go out, you wouldn't plant a garden today and then show back up tomorrow and go, where's my harvest? Right, that would be silly. We know we have to plant the we have to plant the seeds, and we know that if we plant a few seeds, at the least we're only going to get a few crops. Or you can plant a lot of seeds, you're still going to lose some, but you're going to have a bigger harvest. You cultivate the ground, you water the seeds, then you reap your harvest. The same thing happens when it comes to network marketing, when it comes to recruiting. You have to plant your seeds, you have to water your seeds, but it is a relationship. It does take some time. What you want, you want your prospect to actually recruit themselves when the timing is right. Number two, don't prejudge. When I got into this industry, I made the mistake time and time and time again of making a list of who I thought may be interested. Doesn't work. People that I thought would be interested were not. Then there were people I go, no way, they would never be interested, they were. And then a lot of times, it's not the people that we introduce to the business, it's who they lead us to, right? The duds can lead us to the studs or the studettes. So you wanna make a list um, of people that you know, care about, trust, respect, and then you just share the information. Don't prejudge. It's like if we opened up a sushi franchise and you go, well, I know I have a lot of friends of maybe that don't like sushi. It doesn't matter. You still want them to know you have the franchise because they're gonna know people that do like it. So number two, absolutely do not prejudge. You're not selling, you're not recruiting. All you're gonna do is share with them what you're doing. Number three, remember it is a numbers game. I remember hearing Jim Rohn say we can make up in numbers what we lacked in skill, and that like took the weight off my shoulders because when he explained that, listen, you could be so bad that you only get one out of 10, and maybe we have someone else that is so good they get nine out of 10 people they talk to. We can still beat them. They go talk to 10 people, they get nine. We talk to 100, we get 10. So it is a numbers game. So when I went through that recruiting run and I went out and I go, look, I'm gonna go out and recruit and take my business to the next level. Anytime I do this, I understand it's just numbers. I understand that my goal is to say less to more people. And the way that I do that is I use third-party tools. What is a third-party tool? It's something else that does a presentation for me. Maybe it's a website, a magazine, a DVD, a conference call, a webinar, anything that allows me to be the commercial and just gets them to watch the movie. So let's say when I was going through that recruiting run or now when I go through a recruiting run, I only get one out of 10 people. And your numbers, you'll learn your numbers and your numbers will get better over a period of time. But let's say I'm only getting one out of 10. That means that I need 100 people to review information to get those 10 recruits. So maybe I'm calling 40, 50 people to get, to get 10 commitments. And then once I get back with those people and I go through the process, I'm getting one out of 10. So it's very simple. Once you learn your numbers, it's just a matter of how fast you really wanna move. But when going through the numbers game, a couple points that I like for you to remember, it is a numbers game. Third party is always better than first party. Okay, you wanna take the pressure off of you. Say less to more people. Instead of us begging that one friend that we know needs it for 30 minutes, but they don't want it, 
Why not spend three minutes with 10 people and look for the one that is looking that says, look, thank God you gave this to me. What took you so long? Where have you been? Okay, so you're say less to more people. Amateurs convince, professional sort. So if you're gonna go on a recruiting run to go build your business, you don't really have time to convince anyone. So those are some of the key tips when I was going on my run, understanding it is a numbers game. And the more numbers you work, the better you're gonna be. You're gonna get into a rhythm, and then you're also filling your funnel. So as you continue to fill that funnel, what's gonna happen is you're always gonna have people that are calling you up going, listen, I wanna become a customer, I wanna join your business, or they wanna do both. But it is a numbers game. Number four, as you're going through the numbers, remember the fortune is in the immediate follow-up. You've gotta have a sense of urgency. You have to strike while the iron is hot, while their emotions are still involved. So if I'm talking to you and I go, listen, I'm excited about something, I'd love for you to take a look at it. It may or may not be for you. Okay, whatever you're saying to those people, maybe I'm listening to what you're saying, which is key, and you go, I would love more time with my family. I cannot stand my job. I would love to retire my spouse. We wanna change zip codes. I wanna give more to my church or charity. All I do is I just listen and I remind you of what you said and go, were you serious when you said you wanted more time with your family or were you joking? And they go, no, I was serious. Well, look, I don't know if what I'm doing is for you or not, but I'm really excited about it. I get you the information. The fortune is in the immediate follow-up. What I try to do is set a time to follow back up with you of when you're gonna look at it. I go, listen, if I give this to you tonight, if I would you, if I give you this magazine, would you look at it tonight? We grab coffee in the morning. If I send you a text message with a short video, would you look at it and I'll call you back in 10 minutes? So I try to strike while the iron is hot, knowing that it takes five to eight exposures. Remember we talked about recruiting as a process, it's not an event. So my goal is to take you from exposure to exposure to exposure until you recruit or sell yourself. It's pretty simple. How do I follow up? What do you say? You know, I don't, I don't get caught up in all the verbiage. Here's the best thing I've learned to, to say when I follow up. Hey, did you get a chance to look at it? Great, what caught your attention most? Was the product, business, or a little bit of both? Because either one, we win, right? The product, the business, or both. It, no matter what they say, I go, that's one of the best parts, because it is. What did you like best about what you saw? I don't say, what do you think? That's like saying, what do you think about the election? What do you think about this? That's just an open-ended road that you don't wanna go down. So what did you like best, product, business, or both? Uh, what caught your attention the most? Something very simple, but knowing that I'm gonna take them through exposure to exposure, and then when the timing's right, they'll sell or recruit themselves. And no doesn't even mean no. For, I've had people go, no, I'm not interested. All I ask them is this, hey listen, do you mind if I keep you posted on how I'm doing or do you mind if I update you every now and then on how things are going? Sure, six months later, maybe they had a pay raise, they love their job, life is great. Six months later, they got a pay cut, they have a new manager they can't stand, they wanna put their kids in a private school. No doesn't mean no, it means not now. So as you're going through the exposure process, as you're going through the numbers, I never take them off my list unless they make me mad or I don't wanna work with them, right? I used to wanna to try to get people in my business. Now I decide if I wanna let people in my business and I continue to follow up, take them from exposure to exposure until they recruit or sell, them, sell themselves. Hope that makes sense. The fortune is in the immediate follow-up. And last but not least, tip number five, work with the willing. One thing, if you're going on a recruiting run, you're ready to take your business to the next level, you're ready to explode out of the mud. That's the great thing about this industry. No matter where you are right now, you could have been in your company for two years, three years, it doesn't matter. And you go, listen, on this day, I saw this video and something clicked. And let me tell you what happened the next 90 days. But when I was going through that, when I do go through that now, I'm working with the willing. You work with the willing. Some will, some won't, so what? next, somebody else is waiting. It's easier to run with a thousand people than drag one dead body, right? It's easier to give birth than raise the dead. Don't look back unless you wanna go that way. So you're going through the numbers, you're following up, and then you're locking arms and you're walking with the walkers and you're running with the runners. So those are five key tips. Some of you may say, 
That is so simple. How could he go out there and do those simple things? Because it is simple. And when you do the simple things and you do them day after day after day, and you understand it's a numbers game and you compress those numbers into a shorter period of time, and I believe it's easier to build your business fast than it is to build your business slow. Not too many people wanna go run a marathon, but if you give them something, go listen, if you wanna sprint, we can help you explode to the next level. They're ready to do that. And with that energy and excitement that's in your voice and the new stories of people that you're bringing on board, you're gonna find that it starts to compound and, and it grows even faster. It's like a snowball. If you get in front of it, when it's rolling down a hill, eventually if you get in front of it, you become a part of it and it continues to snowball bigger and bigger and bigger.